Hello everyone. Welcome to BR Mathematics classes. In class 1, we discussed what are the technical terms that we use to learn the definition of limit of a function. In this class, we will learn what is limit of a function. Finding limit of a function is nothing but observing tendency of the function when x approaches to particular value. I repeat, finding the limit of a function is nothing but observing the tendency of the function when x approaches to particular value. These things we will try to understand with these examples. Here you can see the graph. There is a graph. Some graph is there. The curve is like this. It is named it as y is equals to f of x. You observe in this graph as x approaches to 0 from left. As x approaches to 0 from left. What happening here? f of x is approaching to what? Its functional values are approaching to what? Its functional values are approaching to 1. As x approaches to 0 from left, f of x is approaching to particular value from left. See, as x approaches to 0 from right, what are its functional values? f of x is approaching to 1 from right. As x approaches to 0 from left and right, f of x approaches to 1 from left and right. What you observed here, the tendency of the function is what? The function approaches to 1 from left and right when x approaches to 0 from left and right. From this, there is a particular thing is here. As x approaches to particular value from left and right, f of x is approaching to particular value from left and right. From this, the concept limit is developed. Now, in this, we will discuss what is left hand limit of a function and right hand limit of a function. You observe here, as x approaches to 0 from left, as x approaches to 0 from left, it is denoted like this, limit x approaches to 0 minus. That means x approaches to 0 minus means what? All x values are less than 2 and very very nearer to 2. That means x approaching to 0 from left. f of x, we will write it as, what is f of x? f of x approaches to 1. See, why we written this one here? As x approaches to 0 from left, f of x is approaching to 1 from left. That means limiting position of the function, limiting position of the function when x approaches to 0 from left is 1. So left hand limit of this function is 1 and what is right hand limit of the function? Limit x approaches to 0 from right f of x. See x approaches to 0 from right f of x is approaches to 1. So what is right hand limit of this function? 1. So here you can observe that left hand limit, we will simply write it as LHL, left hand limit and we will write it as RHL, right hand limit. When left hand limit is equals to right hand limit, we say that limit of the function will exist and we will write like this, limit x approaches to 0, f of x is equals to 1. In case left hand limit is not equals to right hand limit, we say that limit does not exist. We come to this graph here. This is the graph of a sin x function I drawn from 0 to pi. 0 to pi. You observe this graph as x approaches to pi by 2 from left. f of x is approaching to 1 from left. As x approaches to pi by 2 from right, f of x is approaching to 1 from right. Correct. So, as x approaches to pi by 2 from left and right, f of x approaches to 1 from left and right. So, from this what we can say? Left hand limit of this function is what? 1. Right hand limit of this function is what? 1. How you will write it as? Limit x approaches to pi by 2 from left f of x. What is f of x here? Sin x is equals to what? 1. Limit x approaches to pi by 2 plus, that means x approaches to pi by 2 from right, sin x is equals to what? 1. 
left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. So what we say here, limit x approaches to pi by 2 f of x. What is f of x in this case? f of x is sin x is equal to 1. So limit of the function sin x when x approaches to pi by 2 is 1. In these two graphs you can observe the tendency of the function. When x approaches to particular value from left and right, f of x is also approaching to particular value from left and right. Then only we say that limit of a function will exist. Now I will discuss one function for uh, at x at particular value of x limit doesn't exist. See this is called a, a fractional part of x. This graph is a fractional part of x. If you draw the graph we will get like this. Now I will discuss uh, limit of this function when x approaches to 2 when x approaches to 2 see here you observe as x approaches to 2 from left as x approaches to 2 from left where f of x is approaching see as x is approaching to its functional values we will get here on y axis f of x is approaching to where yes where it is approaching it is approaching to 1 as x approaches to 2 from left, f of x is approaching to 1. How you will write it as? You will write it as limit x tends to 2 minus. What is, I will write it as f of x. What is f of x? f of x is 1. That means left hand limit of this function when x approaches to 2 is 1. Now limit x approaches to 2 plus f of x. What it mean? Right hand limit of the function f of x at x equals to 2. You observe here as x approaches to 2 from right, where f of x approaches. Where as x approaches to 2 from right, where f of x approaches. f of x is approaches to what? Its functional value. f of x at this point y value is what? 0. f of x is approaching to 0. As x approaches to 2 from left, f of x approaches to 1. As x approaches to 2 from right, f of x is approaching to 0. So what happened here? Left hand limit is not equals to right hand limit. So what we say? Limit x tends to 2, f of x is what? 0 or 1? What it is? As left hand limit is not equals to right hand limit, what we say? We say that limit does not exist. We'll say that limit of a function does not exist. So finding the limit of a function is nothing but observing the tendency of the function when x approaches to particular value from left and right. Now I'll uh, Okay, see, limit x approaches to a, limit x approaches to a, f of x equals to l. This is the general notation we use to tell the limit of a function. See, limiting, limit x tends to a, f of x equals to l means what? Limiting position of f of x limiting position of f of x when x approaches to a is l limiting position of f of x when x approaches to a is l here l is called limit limit of this function limiting position of f of x as x approaches to a is l here you observe that limiting position of this function when x approaches to 0 is 1 here 1 is called limit of the function when x approaches to 0. From class 1 and class 2, I hope you got very useful information about limit of a function. In class 3, we will discuss various types to find limit of a function like right hand limit, how to find right hand limit, how to find left hand limit and uh, rationalization method by using expansion. All those things we will learn in next class. This channel is all about inspiring students that every student can learn mathematics easily. If you want to follow my classes, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day ahead. Thanks for watching this video.